Yeah, all good, yeah. Okay, everyone. Uh, it's JSM um, Advanced Rider again. Just on my VFR 800 today. So you'll see in front of me Eric from ECM who does all my motorbike repairs there. Just going to take an MOT off. Really good uh, bike mechanic. Very, very good. Well recommended. He's off either that way. Yeah, so um, yeah, I'm on my VFR 800 today. Um, it's a 1997-98 R registration one, so it's about 23 years old now. Um, rides really nice. One of the best sports tourers there was really. Um, great bike. So much torque. Nice bit of power. Use it occasionally on teaching as well. Um, I've also got an old BSA Bantam as well, which I, a uh, bit of a collector's one really. Uh, I should do a video on that at some point. Um, but yeah, this is the VFR 800. Um, so just gonna come in with a bit of advanced bike riding today and do a few country roads. Um, we've got 40 miles an hour limit here. So um, yeah, so using this system again, information, we've got 50 miles an hour speed limit, checking mirrors. Um, seeing what's behind me see what's going on increasing the speed getting the best view around the corner as well here so I'm looking around that corner as much as possible some brake lights going on far ahead something off turn off right some other brake lights on um, sun's quite bright today so that can have some uh, hazards in itself again it's a nice clean dry day today last day before lockdown so I hope to take the opportunity to get out and do another video hopefully this one will come out all right as well um, so we've got a right hand bend here, just keeping a little bit left here, got entrances to the to the left. Um, car turning off there. Mirrors again. Yeah, 50 miles an hour road, so making good progress when I can. Checking the road surface, keep an eye on that road surface. Especially in the shaded areas, flood sign there as well, so again all information. over switch lanes going left at this roundabout so information countdown markers mud on the road there not too good okay so position speed picking the gear I need joining a little bit of a national speed limit road here the van's smoking a bit so I'm going to keep a bit back from them a little bit of light mud on the road very slight vehicle in the lay by there making sure they don't pull out this road's a long furlong road for this There's lots of information signs down this row. See the lines coming back in. Solid line on the right hand side there. Slow sign, bend to the left. So I'm staying over on the left, keeping on that lay by with the truck. Oncoming lorry. So I'm coming back in position a little bit away from that. Coming back out again. Got slow, reduced speed now, warning sign. Deviation markers here. Gear's all set really. I'll pick a slightly lower gear through here. Right and sharp bends. That smoke is really bad on that vehicle ahead. It's a new road surface here. They often do this road surface. It's quite a bad road that part there. 
Okay, then coming up to the top of the brow of the hill. So we've got a bit of a hidden dip up here. Double white lines on both sides, two entrances either side. A little bit of mud on the road there. Being aware of that. Quite bright sunshine as well. So on a 60 road, checking my vision. And then the road tends to open up a bit here now. So I'm going to try and get up to speed if I can. Got a long sweeping bend to the right. Make a little bit of progress down this road. So you can slightly left here and the view there. Quite a good view anyway. So position wise, don't benefit from going right over to the left here. I can see right down on this side of the road here. Nothing in the lay by here at all. Looking for this is where people often overtake as well. So looking for any overtaking vehicles. A big lorry ahead, another coach on the other side of the road quite an open bit of road so it's in the valley a little bit here got an emergency vehicle looks like they're trying to overtake there Let's see what that's doing there good example I pulled over for that so you can get vehicles overtaking there anyway what's the emergency vehicle we've made to them anyway they were aware holding back seeing me but by keeping slightly left there, I got the vision around that that coach, and they could actually see me as well. So again, all the information, isn't it? Picking up that information sign, visually seeing what's going on. Solid white lines solid line on the left looking around the corner got a junction on the right 180 yards being mindful of that also animals here could be some cheap stuff like that look always looking for them so again here information positioning we have got a bend coming up here. You can see the bend junction on the bend. There's a slow sign. There's two slow signs here. So giving you an extra bit of warning. Pick quite a low gear for this one. Quite a sharp deceiving bend this. New road surface on here as well. A little bit of camber on this bend as well to be careful of. And it's quite a narrow road this, you have to be very careful of lorries here, they sometimes get very close to the, uh, the lines there. It's a public footpath there as well, still solid lines, still 60 at the moment. All stop within the distance you can see to be clear, so that's really important when you get this vision and how much speed you can put on at the given time. Quite a windy open road, hopefully the recording will come out alright on this. So coming down here, speed check area as well. Coming down to 40. It's also getting fairly near to school times as well. Um, I'm gonna come down here, you'll see it's 40 junctions. It's also 30 when the lights are flashing when the schools are on there. It's not flashing at the moment, but it won't be long before it does. So we got that there. Pedestrian crossing dip in the road there as well quite a bit of camber here and there on this road normal drivers got again got lorries coming there so I'm just coming over a little bit getting that view round there back out again go down the road I went down the other day so it's um, straight ahead at this roundabout and looking and planning on approach there here is supply spots road's probably closed again on the left so it says it's open but 
going to leave that, it's an uneven road, I've been doing some work down there so I'm going to go this way anyway coming round sure those vehicles have seen me road surface there as well back on the 60 road again now So you've got two vehicles there, one going very slow and be mindful that the other vehicle might try and go round at some point as well. There is a junction coming up soon so I'm just keeping an eye on these slow vehicles. That micro sort of going over the solid line a little bit. A bit wary of them. Coming vehicles at the moment as well. they might turn off there actually so that's them out the way that's good so again slow junction on the left again the cars making reasonably good speed there I'm in traffic anyway. Another lorry there, just pulling myself in a little bit left, have a look around, see if I can see anything. Yeah, car's making really good progress, so that's good. Okay, so come down here, count down markers again mirrors information coming back to an initial 40 miles an hour information position speed gear pick the gear I need it would probably be first here I think moving away to stop got an initial bit of faulty roadworks for company horses possible down here as well 50 miles an hour end of roadworks sign and increase the gas there Just build the speed up go through the gears so again information position speed gear acceleration and with the information phase, we, what we do is we use um, TUG, which is take, use and give information. So we take the information in, we use it, and then we give information if necessary as well. Mindful of that car there. And we apply that system all the way through. Um, obviously you can use mirror signal position speed, looks which we use on uh, Lots of sort of car driving, learner lessons, and observation, signal manoeuvre, mirror signal manoeuvre, it's all built into it all. But for advanced riding, yeah, we use the IBSCA system, and that's IAM, ROSPA, Diamond, they all, all use that really. It does work really well, to be honest. You can plan your riding, so you've always got a riding plan as well. Like today, I know generally where I'm going, the route I'm going on. Um, all helps time of day 
has a big factor on it as well so you know, I try to avoid the school run times a lot of people just rushing about today last day before lockdown I think it's going to be quite busy as well So information, position, going right here, speed, so get all the braking on before, pick the gear I need, probably second, might be first, rolling in, on the clutch control, keeping mobile if I can, get the opportunity to get out, yep, all planning, steady and smooth round the roundabout busy round about this, don't have to rush it but get the progress and get away from those vehicles when you can do checks, blind spots, coming back over a bit of traffic here again slowing down Keeping a good distance from the vehicles in front. Brake lights coming on. Looking ahead. Look as keep your head up and look as far ahead as you can. Get a good view down here just by being in this position here. You can see right down the roundabout. Um, I'm going to turn right here. So I've got all my information there. My position is about right to the right here. Slowing down. It's on right there. Everything's all done. Ready. Gears all set, coming round. Observation, check those, look at those cars, make that eye contact you come round, look where you're going, mirrors, blind spot, cyclists there, crossing there as well. Car looks like it's emerging, so just just restrain, hold back. Just hold back for that minute, just get that time, then it clears, recheck, and off we go again, getting the gap past the cyclist. So a little bit of restraint sometimes is really good. We've got 30 miles an hour residential road bus stops there so you've got bus stop use that information park vehicles driveways tree lined police speed check area moving over slightly change position just help those cars out a little bit there see around the bus coming away from the danger moving back over slightly again that's a fair in here I'll stay again today. Coming off here, so I've got a school patrol, junction on the left, bus stop, some markers on here on the junction. Position, gear, looking. Okay. That's it, good. Make sure they've seen us. Thank you. Thanks. We've seen a few motorbikes out today. Getting the opportunity while the weather's good. So looking through here, getting that observation early. Coming out, cyclist. Back in, calm. Approaching car, coming over to the left slightly. Uh, sort of straight line this a little bit here. Keeping upright. Nice and clear, no vehicles around. You want to keep it upright as straight as you can most of the time. When you can, especially in uh, bad weather. Roundabouts, things like that. 
keeping us upright, take the shortest path. If it's safe and there's observations clear, of course. I stick to those uh, highway code positions, but sometimes just by being that little bit more upright, if it's clear on the bike, we've got that flexibility. I like controls on the bike as well, you know, don't grip the handlebars, nice and relaxed, arms bent a little bit looking forward, head up, all helps with your positioning, position on the pegs as well, get that control, count the steering and just let the bike do, its, do what it's meant to do. It'll be quite busy down here today I think, We're down by Goring Gap, so here, slow again speed here so quite a few people around a few cyclists a few campers making the most of that last day before lockdown I think Seen a few driving instructor people I know, sometimes they recognise me on the bike, sometimes they don't. <laughs> so hello Alan and Jeff if you're watching this, just seeing you back there. 